Hey guys, and welcome to some more Star Citizen. Just a quick one, really. Grim Hex is one of the next big things in Star Citizen Patch 2.5, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about it and what we know so far. They've continued to develop that reputation system and faction system, and they need a place for outlaws and pirates to congregate, but also some other locations in the mini PU for players to go, to buy things, to get some player interaction, uh, to get some PvP on the go, all that sort of stuff. You want to get some player conflict, but also mix it with uh, exploration and that sort of jazz as well. So Green Imperial Hex, or Grim Hex, pirate base is, has been conceived and created. This is the outlaw spawn zone, I believe, and it's uh, a little more rough and not as safe as Port Olisar. That's the idea. It's also going to have items which aren't available at Port Olisar. So this might be um, some more piratey, uh, grungy clothing, but also I think they're going to divide where some of the weapons are. So some of the uh, like ballistic weapons will be available at Port Olisar, whereas laser weapons will be available at uh, Grimhex. That sort of stuff. It's an asteroid base in the yellow area um, obviously it's not out yet it's going to be out with 2.5 but it looks like it's been long since abandoned by its original inhabitants and now has a sprawling or at least medium-sized pirate player population it's huge some of it's complete some of it's inside some of it's outside some of it's eviable there is a large shaft leading deep down into the asteroid into the main area of the station that's where all the shops and most of your player interaction will be uh, above that obviously the airlocks coming into the base and the aesthetic is very much that of repurposed abandoned dirty broken not maintained kind of industrial-esque feel there are loads of little cool audio and environmental details and um, the one of the uh, audio artists was talking about and some of these were inspired by Blade Runner they're going for a sci-fi pirate bizarre kind of feel whatever that is it has similar shops as I said to that of Port Olisa I saw a cassava uh, outlet type shop I'm not sure if it's going to be called cassava outlet or if it's going to have some sort of more roguish name if you go deeper into the station though from that main area you'll come to what uh, I assume is an old mining setup or at least where they've carved out the asteroid for more features or to dig even deeper down and there even deeper down past mine shafts and um, a lift there is an EVA area there is loads and loads of grim hex they haven't really shown us yet but it looks like it's going to be a lot more PvP and FPS centric than what we've had so far. Though we'll have to wait exactly how they're going to implement whether some areas are similar to that of an armistice zone of Port Olisa. So are people just going to be able to spawn camp you? Are you going to be able to get spawned and immediately killed? See, that would be kind of lame. You want some form of reputation system there, even if outlaws have their own reputation too. Or maybe just Grim Hex has big guns and it shoots people that start murdering each other in a very close adjacent area. Some form of implementation to keep people safe is fine in a certain zone. I do expect there to be a lot more PvP going around Grim Hex and possibly at least some unsafe areas though. But there's also apparently some Easter eggs to find. So if anyone does see any Easter eggs in any of the videos that we see of Grim Hex or even finds them when Grim Hex is released, please drop me a message. It would be appreciated. I love that sort of jazz. Uh, and yeah, check out Grim Hex in 2.5. I'm sure we'll find out some more before 2.5 is released. And I wouldn't expect we we'll have to wait too much longer for 2.5, at least to go to the Evocati. Anyway, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help me. If you'd like to win a Dragonfly, all you've got to do is comment on any of our Star Citizen content throughout July. And if it's not July anymore, then comment. There'll probably be a giveaway going on or something. You know, check out the channel. It's all good. Thanks, guys, for watching. You take care, and I'll see you in the verse.